So now we do the test. What we need to do is to release the emergency button, which I always press when approaching the transformer, and also rotate the high voltage key from off to on. Then we need to mark the phase we're going to test, so phase A, and now I press the button and I release it. What you can see right now is that we're generating 200 volts on the primary side and the current going into the primary side is 0.57 milliamps. Effectively, this is the result. This is a no load test result, but we'll talk about that later. Phase shift and then the voltage on the secondary side. 200 on the primary is 2.3 on the secondary side, which gives us the ratio of 86.83. Our nominal is 86.60. So what I need to do right now is to press the button keep values and then the generation will stop. So the generation stop right now. You see that this is not blinking anymore. And this is the only test where you need to press in automatic mode the keep uh, values button in order for the generation to stop. And we see 86.834 is a result for this phase. What we're going to do is again press scroll columns and rotate the knob and we will see that we have an error of 0.27 for this phase, which is less than 0.5. That's why we have a thumbs up and a green thumbs up right here. So the next step is pressing the emergency button, going to the transformer and doing the test of phase B. So what do we do right now? We move like this. Phase B will have a high voltage and phase C neutral. And here I'm going to change from phase A to phase B. This is neutral and this stays here all the time. And then I change the phase in STS and I press again, start and I release. Because the emergency button is pressed, I have to release the emergency button and do this again. Now what we are seeing is that for phase B, the error is 0.3 percent. The error, uh, the ratio, effective ratio is 86.8, and I press keep values. 0.31 is less than 0.5. Green thumbs up. And the last step would be moving on to phase C, which would mean that now I'm generating onto phase C while neutral is on phase A, and also on the secondary side measuring on. Phase C. Press the button for phase C. And we see that for phase C, the percentage of error is 0 0.27, like for phase or 0 0.26. We say keep values. And now we can see the full result right here. So I go down, scroll columns. We generated for all three phases 200 volts. The current coming inside was, this is the result of no load test. And actually, let me tell you, it looks good because the middle current is higher than the ones uh, in phases A and C. This is how much we measured on the secondary side, 2.302 and 2.303 volts. And these are the ratios we've gotten. Let's remember that 86.6 uh, is the nominal we got 86.8 which is an error between 0 0.27 and 0 0.31 which are both less than 0 0.5 that's why we have good results and this is how you can do a ratio test now what you can do is press this button save and you can save this onto a local memory or a usb stick i don't have with me right now a usb stick so i'm going to save it to a local memory and when I do that, I will be able to open this result every time and do this same test with the same settings without needing to change anything. So this is what makes it much quicker. We have a lot of substations here. That's why it took some time. I'm just going to say save new file and I'm going to have this. So this is the ratio test. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in our next video.